Thanks, Mike. I'm joined right now by my good friend, Eclipse Award-winning writer Jessica Pfeiffer, and her best friend, who you might know, Mike. Jess, what horse is this? Who's your best friend? This is Hang the Moon. Mike knows her very well, but uh, she is running in the Philly and Mare Turf this year, and she's just super special to me and to the whole barn and to Mike as well. So, hi, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Mike. Isn't this so exciting? We're petting your horse right now. Apparently, her favorite food is carrots. You should know all these things about your best friend. What's your favorite food? <laughs> Carrots, and actually the other day we fed her peppermints for the first time, and she liked them. So. What's her favorite color? Purple. Breeders' Cup. Breeders' Cup purple. Breeders' Cup purple. What does she like to do on her downtime? Uh, she likes to sleep a lot, but she's just a really cool filly, but she's super competitive, and that's one of the best things about her. When we're walking to the track in the morning, if somebody comes up and tries to pass her, she'll jog so that they can't pass her. It's so funny, but... Overall, she's just one of the sweetest fillies in the barn. She's really special, and from the first day I got on her, I knew she was the real thing. So, does uh, does she ever talk about Mike Joyce? All the time. She says he's the most annoying owner in the world. <laughs> he likes to visit her all the time. Hey, the moon told me she's like, "Is Mike here?" Because he comes to see me all the time. To be fair, Mike does wake up in the morning and come watch her work. I will give him credit for that. He even brings his son out. Now, for some reason, you end up on all these Breeders' Cup horses. You ride Hang the Moon. You ride Thought Process. You ride Iron Man Cal. You ride Che Vasora. Was this like nepotism, or was this just luck of the draw? Honestly, it was kind of luck of the draw. This year, I thought I probably wouldn't have anything, and then last minute, all of them started doing really well and winning Breeders' Cup. Uh, when you're in so it's been it's I'm so blessed it I mean I've been in this game for a long time but I haven't really had the pleasure of being on a bunch of Breeders Cup horses so this year it's just really special and to have the horses that I've been on for a really long time as well and didn't really know if they were going to make it to the Breeders Cup and now they're improving leaps and bounds especially her is really exciting what's the pressure like though to have like all of these eyes on you with these horses like i mean thought process is probably one of the best chances we have for the u.s yeah honestly the pressure from my dad is <laughs> is the most it's not the saddle towel it's not um the breeders cup it's not the owners it's my dad making sure everything goes well iron man cal is training phenomenal and his when you're in race was probably the most anxiety I've had going into a race the whole week leading up to that race. I was like, I really just hope he runs well. I was so nervous. So the fact that he did and came through was really exciting. And I think all of them, they're all training phenomenal. You want to talk? You want to talk? All right. Well, uh, Mike, hang the moon has something to say to you and we'll send it right back. <laughs>